Hello children, today we are looking at the number 3. Last day we looked at counting the number 3, counting 3 objects. Today we'll be looking at objects as well, but we'll be arranging 3 in different ways. And let's see what happens. Now here we have 3 CD discs. Now let's count them. We have one, two, and three. And if you look at them, you see that they are going across from the left to the right. They're in a straight line. Now here we have the same CDs again. But this time, they're not arranged in a straight line going across. They're going from up to down. Let's count them. One two three so even though we have them standing up or in a going up to down there's still three now here we have the same this again but this time they're not sideways and they're not down to up or up to down they are going across Yes, so kind of in a kind of a slanting line across. Let's see if there's still three. We are going to count them, beginning with number one. Let's go. One, two, three. There's still three. Okay. Okay, so here we have them in another order. They're not going across, they're not standing up or going from top to bottom or bottom to top, and they're not in a slanted line. We have two on top and one underneath. Let's count it, see if it's still three. One, two, three. It's still three. So here we are. We can arrange the number three in different ways and still end up with three. We can arrange it going across, from up to down or down to up, slanting, or two on top and one below, or even one on top and two below. It doesn't matter how we arrange three objects we will still get three.